Hello everyone and now welcome to game two in the series between Xiao Shi Shi and Fanta. Gonna go ahead and speed this up, get to the eight minute mark. Game two taking place here on Echo Isle. Um, best of, best of, okay, well apparently this is a best of three. All right, so Xiao Shi Shi spawning as the red night elf on the top left hand side of the map opening up with a demon hunter meanwhile ghoul is already on the way out the uh, altar of darkness is right there with a death knight making his way out quickly selling his scroll of town portal and picking up rod of necromancy and dust of appearance now the question is going to be how much damage can these ghouls do early on that is a lot of damage to be done here and the demon hunter is going after all of these units pretty quickly lightning shield across the board the demon hunter trying to go after perhaps wisp now would be an even better target as the ghouls are just running after all of these units here all right troll shadow priest there goes one unit troll shadow priest is now still trying to get away death knight there's the detonation there is another attack and some easy 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 attacks across the board as the archer is taking a bit of damage Archer trying to run all the way back home. Looks like she will be able to make it to a Moonwell. And right now down to... Well, back up to 245 hit points as the Moonwells are fairly empty as of now. Demon Hunter using a lot of mana to try and mana burn down that Death Knight. Death Knight is pretty much in a really good spot though as you now see him pick up additional um, skeletal minions. So far, is the Archer going to get taken down? The Troll Shadow Priest now trying to make its way back. We are at Nightfall and there is an Abolish Magic. Two of them all the way. That Death Knight quickly has no army to stand behind. Ghouls now perhaps making their way a beeline across the map now. Four ghouls ready to go as the Death Knight is still looking to do some early, early pressure. This is normally what you see in an undead Night Elf matchup. A little bit surprised that the Death Knight was didn't do that in the first game. And now we are in game number two and things are just not going that well at all for... Uh, uh, for the undead Fanta. Fanta is actually in a little bit of trouble here. Xiao Shi Shi having a very good time just defending this attack. And as things get going, the archers are now actually in a little bit of trouble. The Death Knight does have Unholy Aura, which means that the Death Knight, as long as it is, as it is running with these ghouls, these ghouls are going to get faster and faster and faster. All right, the ghouls getting within range. No, not getting within range any longer. The archer now trying to run back away. The ghoul going to go ahead and try and catch up back off to the north, though. You can see Troll Shadow Priest off over here. Skeletal minions are there. The Death Knight is still running around here and... Fanta is just trying to get away from that demon hunter. All right, Shadow Meld as the archer was able to hide just in time. Beautifully done. And now regrouping here once again. Ghouls uh, flooding in from the north. It looks like a troll berserker could get taken down here. Or a troll shadow priest. Damage could be dealt. Let's see what's happening here. The death knight looking to really take down that troll shadow priest. It looks like he will get taken down by the death knight here. And finally at the five minute mark. Oh! Loses sight of the troll shadow priest. And wow what a huge huge misstep there. Xiao Shi Shi. Shadow melding an archer. As the death knight... Now running around. Is it going to find the Troll Shadow Priest? It looks like it will. Going to go ahead and attempt to take it down. <laughs> One more shot should do it. And yes, it does go down. Death Knight finally on the board with four experience. The ghouls are still just waiting and waiting for that archer to get revealed as the Death Knight runs over. And we there's the dust of appearance. There it goes. But it is going to end up costing him a ghoul. Most likely, yes, there goes that ghoul. As Xiao Shi Shi is slowly chipping away at Fanta's army. Xiao Shi Shi having a great time so far. Level advantage and really just applying a lot of pressure. The question is going to be, as we go to Black Citadel, what exactly Fanta wants to do to try and recover? We saw a bit of a recovery in the previous game. Are we going to see that once again? Alright, let's take a look. 
Naga Sea Witch has been picked up. So Death Knight with the Naga Sea Witch in for some early, early pressure. Ghouls were collecting lumber back at home, able to pull back and try to fight that Players Demon Hunter as the Ziggurat. Um, none of them have been upgraded to Nerubian Towers. Interestingly enough, Demon Hunter is in a little bit of trouble now trying to run away, will be able to do so as the Naga Sea Witch pulls over some creeps. All right, are we going to see them getting pulled over completely? The cold arrow is really not necessary. I don't believe it. Nope. The Demon Hunter is perhaps looking to try and do a bit of an engagement here. The Demon Hunter wants to get some easy, easy experience and get to level 3. And we may even see a mana burn there. But now we see a quick turnaround once again. Level 3 onto that Demon Hunter as the Archers and the Ancient of War have crept out the bottom left-hand side of the map. Naga Sea Witch um, lost a whole portion of mana right there, unfortunately for her. And as things get worse and worse, that Demon Hunter is just sticking around long enough to just deplete all of the mana off of these heroes. And without mana on the heroes, the Naga Sea Witch is nowhere near as strong, same as that Death Knight. All right, are we going to... Oh, a huge mana burn steal as the Demon Hunter gets a little bit of experience once more. All right, Death Knight down to 105 hit points, 106 hit points. A Dryad could just turn around, hit that Ogre Warrior. No problem whatsoever as the Death Knight now back on Blight needs to regenerate some hit points and we will be doing so rather easily. Naga Sea Witch not going to be nearly as lucky as it is getting stuck in a Congo line right outside the base. Death Knight has nothing to really use to regenerate any of his hit points. And this game may pretty much be over. Level 1 Death Knight, level 1 Naga Sea Witch against a level 1 Naga Sea Witch and a level 3 Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter gonna use these Moonwells, get back up to full, and then perhaps make another play back. Did he drop the Peer Up to Vitality? I would hope so. Standard, standard play. If he didn't do that, um, I'll have to double check that video later. But I'm not sure he dropped it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Naga Sea Witch hoping to clear out the Murlocs down over here. Meanwhile, the Death Knight sitting at level 2 sells an item. Still needs to find a way to heal up a bit more. He is low on mana, low on hit points as the Demon Hunter is out for blood. Alright, Naga Sea Witch may get mana burned again. Yes, down to pretty much zero mana. That Naga Sea Witch uh, doesn't have that much to really use. The Naga Sea Witch base attack is not that strong. Yes, even if it gets mana burned, as long as it has some mana, it is generally enough to slow down units, but it may not even get to that point. What really needs to happen is that the undead needs to catch the Night Elf while they're creeping and get a little bit lucky, or perhaps get a handful of units um, a handful of units in transition as the Crypt Fiends are now trying to get away and this is exactly what we didn't want to see for the undead. Things are just going from bad to worse as the Demon Hunter now making its way over Naga Sea, which is going to perhaps try and unload onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is now running back again. All right, Death Knight waiting nearby. May use the Rod of Necromancy. Has one more charge left. Has double obsidian statues and now needs to make a miracle happen on a bit of a Hail Mary play. Mercenary camp. Nearly done. Naga Sea Witch getting mana burned again. The Demon Hunter hiding in that little bit of brush right there. Not quite sure why. As we see that the Demon Hunter tries to push in and was unable to do so. Lightning Shield quickly cleared up. Death Knight sitting at level 2. Not going to get to level 3, but at least this does have enough for a mana burn or two. Naga Sea Witch is at 2. And we may even perhaps see Fork Lightning. Fork Lightning would be very beneficial if the Naga Sea Witch does not constantly, constantly um, get mana burned to death. All right, Death Knight now trying to chase after. We may see a rejuvenation here in just a second. There you go, as the ghouls are rather fast. That little bit of a retreat there was exactly what Fanta needed as the Death Knight, Lich, and um, Naga Sea Witch are making a bit of a comeback play. Demon Hunter comes in. Let's take a look. Ring of Protection has been picked up. Demon Hunter pretty much back up to 600 some odd hit points. This is not looking good as the Destroyers are now out in the air. The unit composition is right, but do we have enough? That is the question. The Dryad's right there. A second Destroyer now up into the air as well. One bear looks like it's going to go down. There it goes. And Dryad's... Oh no, are we just going to be going after bears? That is the big question here. No more rejuvenation at all. The units on the field. Crypt Fiends falling left and right. Demon Hunter is now in a bit of trouble. Where is it going? And talk about a complete turnaround. The Destroyers may be able to take down the Bears. All right, Naga Sea Witch gets taken out. And Shaoxi Shi 
takes game number two with a beautiful save on his Demon Hunter. A little bit tunnel vision there as Fanta Fiction loses game number two. Or Fanta loses game number two. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please stay tuned for game number three.